welcome back so I'm finally getting around to doing my July favorites video and I'm so excited because I got a lot of like new goodies this month but the goodies that I got I've just been like using it every single day so I feel like I've got like a good collection to just sit down and we can like talk about it and you guys can tell me if you've tried it I'm really really excited so uh, first things first if you're brand speaking new here go ahead and subscribe if you like beauty videos and I upload three times a week Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and if you're an oldie but goodie subby hey girl hey I love that you're back here again thank you for taking some time to just chill and hang out with me so okay first things first the first item that I've been loving is I don't even have it anymore because I've used it all but I love the, I believe it's from Bosha, their Hydrogel Mattifying Gel Mask. You guys, this mask is everything. I want to put a picture of it somewhere up above. It is so good. Um, you can get it at Sephora or, you know, anywhere online. If your skin has just been like out of control, oily this summer, like me, like I just, I don't even know what's going on with my skin. This mask is so freaking good. You can use it at night, you can use it as a like pre-makeup kind of treatment, whatever you wanna do, but I promise you, your skin will fall in love. Next, speaking of masks, I've been loving this Micra Dermabrasion Mask from Lure Cosmetics. First of all, I just love their packaging. And it's very like kind of high-end you know um, but you open this up and it's like a citrusy kind of mask I don't know if you guys can tell but it's kind of like grainy and it's white inside and it smells really really good um, they don't have much of a description because I've been using this and I don't have the original packaging yeah it doesn't really say much it does have like a uh, sunflower seed oil glycerin sweet almond oil all that good stuff and what I love is I love to use this like at night and I just scrub my face with it. I leave it for five to ten, well maybe more like five minutes and then I rinse it off and the next day your skin will be glowing. Make sure after you rinse it off of course you use your serum, your moisturizer, go to bed. Oh my god like and your skin will just look so nice like with makeup too. It's just this is amazing, you gotta check it out. It is more on the higher end for skincare, but I promise you this is like one product that works. You guys know if you've been around, I have sensitive skin and it does not irritate my skin at all. Keeping up with skin, I wanted to show you guys my goodies from The Ordinary. And I have the Hyaluronic Acid with 2% and B5 vitamin. And also this one, it's the Advanced Retinoid 2%. And I also have the niacinamide serum, which for the life of me, I can't find. I took it with me to San Francisco. It's probably buried somewhere deep in my suitcase because I haven't unpacked, but that one's good too. These two are awesome, bomb.com. With the retinoid, you wanna make sure that you don't use anything else that also has retinoid. So if you have another serum or an eye cream or whatever that has it, you just wanna make sure you use this alone. And the um, hyaluronic acid is super super good for you know plumping up your skin you know kind of diminishing those fine lines I just I love these two together and also the niacinamide one is amazing for you know treating breakouts it's just kind of like I think I forgot exactly what niacinamide does but I think I remember it saying that it does like help your skin to retain more moisture like it'll make any moisturizing serum if you mix it together like more potent so definitely check out the ordinary if you haven't already okay let's move on to like foundation type products uh well what am i saying before we move on to foundation let's talk about primers like can we so you guys know um a little while ago i reviewed the elf mattifying balm now i had pre-recorded that video so by the time you guys have seen it it probably doesn't seem like it was that long ago but i promise you guys like i've been using this for most of july already <laughs> Because I had to pre-test it before and then I did the video and I've been using it every time I do my makeup. You guys, I put this in my T-zone and I promise you it will stay matte. The trick is to use it with a wet sponge and if I open it up here, I mean, 
there isn't like too much product in there so I, I'm so sad like I might hit pan soon but you know what it's only like six dollars it comes with a little like compact thing here you use it with a wet sponge you like spread it on and then you push it into your skin with your wet sponge it's amazing like for those really 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 oily days good god like it will save you <laughs> so definitely check that out so now we have to talk about foundations um so the foundations i've been wearing the most this summer are the or not the summer july that's what i'm talking about <laughs> um is the smashbox studio skin stick foundation which i did the review on if you haven't checked it out so this shade which is what i'm wearing right now is like my exact summer shade which like I'm amazed because I just changed so much you know so it's kind of hard for me to stick with a foundation because my skin tone is like a hundred different shades of brown and I love the contour it's just so warm and really complements my skin tone and it blends beautifully after my review I saw that Tati did one and she loved it too so I love that it, didn't, it doesn't just work for women of color, it works for all skin tones. I really, really love the formula that they've got going on here. And then I also love the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. When I want more of like a super like natural, like BB cream kind of look, I go with this and I mix it in with a like moisturizing primer and then I you know do my whole makeup routine and this just gives like such normal like evened out skin tone like it just looks like you're glowing like and I just love that it's got so many different uses. You can mix this in with a foundation to make the color match better. You can also like I said mix it with primer. You can mix it with anything you want guys so um i just feel like yeah you get a lot you get like well for me i think it's a lot because i only use two to three drops per use but it's 0.5 fluid ounces and a lot of people are saying they didn't exactly like the dropper that they felt like product was wasted wasted because it got stuck around the ring but i haven't really had much problems with it I think it's it's great. Ooh, okay. So now I gotta talk to you guys about the eyeshadow palettes I've been loving this month. And of course I did reviews on them recently. And like once I just review something and I love it, I just tend to just keep like using it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just love, that's just how I am, you know? So anyway, the first one is the Naked Heat palette as you guys can see here and I had it in my anti haul and I think it's hilarious because I was like no I'm not gonna buy it I have too much makeup this is not unique and these shades I just feel like are perfect for summer and going into fall I don't know if I'll use it that much when I go into winter like but you know what I mean I love it I love like today you can use the mask if you wet your brush as a liner and I did that today like under my eyes um, it's just so pretty. I feel like it's really good palette for everybody. Like beginners, you know, people who aren't beginners. I will say there's a few shades where the pigmentation isn't where I like it to be, but you know, we can work with that. You know what I mean? The next one, I mean, really, like, are we really that surprised? It's the Jaclyn Hill palette. I told you guys it was gonna get dirty. Can you guys? Oh, you probably can't see on camera, but it is starting to get dirty because of my grubby fingers grabbing this white palette all the time. I mean, it's just beautiful. Like, okay, first of all, these teal colors, if you do a cut crease with those teal and then the green, oh man. If you're a brown skin girl, your eyes are just gonna be looking poppin'. I feel like there's just, like I just can never, there's just so many color combinations that it just blows my mind. I used it today, for example, like, it's just good, it's good, okay? <laughs> um, also, this is really random, but I wanted to talk about uh, this new deodorant that I've been using. So I've really wanted to switch to more natural deodorants, but before I could never use them because I felt like they just like didn't cover up a smell you know and also I'm a cycling instructor so like for me I just like can't be smelling while I'm teaching class you know it just I don't know it's just weird so I started using this one the crystal body deodorant stick you've probably seen this like 
everywhere. And I've had it for a long time, but I couldn't figure out the right way to make it work. And what you gotta do is, as soon as you get out of the shower, no matter what time of day you shower, or what time of night, you wet the stick. It's actually like a crystal, like a mineralized crystal, and you wet it or dampen it, whatever, and then you, you know, like put it under your arms. So it has to be on completely clean skin, like, no deodorant from yesterday or deodorant from early this morning, like <laughs> none of that. And I am so surprised. Like it actually, I actually like, didn't smell, you know. Of course I go like ham, hey, I'm, I'm like in there. But yeah, so basically I've just been loving it. Um, it is more of a deodorant, so it's not an antiperspirant. An antiperspirant will clog your pores under there and then you won't really sweat that much. This is just a like, you know, neutralized odor kind of thing. So you'll sweat, but obviously there won't be any odor. So I love that. If any of you guys are looking for a more natural deodorant, I highly recommend the Crystal Body Deodorant Stick. It's hypoallergenic, fragrant, and paraben free. Also, so uh, back to skincare for a minute because uh, I forgot that I had this. This is from Pure Cosmetics. It's, it's their Joy Stick. And basically, when you unscrew it here, it's this little stick here. It's like an exfoliating stick. And it's uh, supposed to clean out your pores. Now, let me tell you guys about what this little baby did for me. So, I use my Clarisonic pretty regularly. However, I don't think my Clarisonic can get around my nose or on top of my nose very well. So, around my nose, I've been getting these like small little bumps and kind of, you know, like your pores will get clogged there. And especially since it's summer and it's hot and I'm sweating and I'm oily, there's just like a lot of gunk has been getting stuck there and I hate it because when you put makeup on top of it, you can really see the texture. So what I do is in the mornings I use this like all over my face and you know, I'll like scrub it on but I pay special attention to my T-zone and the size of my nose and it's really been helping like diminish that texture there. It's not completely gone but you know, this baby has done something so I thought this was kind of gimmicky at first, but if you're somebody like me that's got like more like texture problems, this is really, really good. And when I did have some like bigger pimples like on the side of my face, it definitely did not irritate them. So yeah, I don't even know what's in this stuff, but it's good. Ooh, so we gotta talk about some mascara. You guys know I did the review on the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash uh, Paradise. And I've been using this like every single day like even before I did the review I tested it out a little bit I've been using it like every single day like it's amazing um what I do is I combine the voluminous lash base and I put that on my lashes I let it dry and then I add this and it just really makes your lashes pop like I said in the review like <sighs> My lashes have never popped for nobody. Like, they are just really tiny, which is fine, but I was so surprised that they're actually, like, visible. So that's amazing, but these two combined together are bomb.com. The only thing about the Voluminous Lash Paradise is basically that it can get a little clumpy, uh, which I don't like. But, I mean, come on, like, there are a lot of mascaras that are super clumpy these days, so it doesn't really, really matter, but I do think that it is a really, really, really great mascara. Definitely worth the price at the drugstore. Yes, and now is my favorite part. We got to talk about highlighters. Uh, I feel like this summer, all I want to do is, like, glow. <laughs> I want to glow for the gods. <laughs> As you guys can see, I've been like highlighting my chest, I've been highlighting my collarbone, I just like bing, you know, that's all I want to do. I want to glow. So my favorite highlighters this past month has been, first of all, take it to the drugstore, the Maybelline Master Chrome and Molten Gold. This is so freaking good. Like all around my uh, where I live, basically all the drugstore areas, this is like sold out, it's gone. Like everybody wants it. It's beautiful, basically a very like blingy kind of highlighter. I'm digging it, like I just can't say enough good things about it. The next one is more higher end. This is Makeup Forever. It's been in a couple of my favorites videos, so it is a long-standing favorite of mine. This one is called the Pro Light Fusion 02. This is more of like a gel kind of formula where it just looks like 
it does not emphasize texture it just kind of goes on really smooth and like blingy so as you guys can see I've been digging the golden kind of highlights and my new favorite which I know you guys probably just saw in my haul but I've been using it for about a week already and I'm like I'm in love basically this is from Jue it's called tan lines and like I said before it doesn't look like much when you're just looking at it on camera but dear god this is like amazing I don't even know like I just like look I have it today and look at that right it's not playing around and um, I'm really surprised at how gorgeous these UA cosmetics highlighters are I didn't think that they were not nice like I got to swatch them at Gen Beauty but I, I ultimately settled on tan lines for my skin tone and man it is just who knock you out of the park kind of good so next up here oh my gosh and some of you guys were telling me about this one and I'm so happy I finally got my hands on it. It's the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. Now I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, make it dewy, but you're oily, combination, like what are you thinking? You don't wanna be that dewy. Yes, you do. Because <laughs> unless you're so oily where your like, face is like dripping off and your makeup is melting off, or maybe you live in the South, you know what I mean? So then hey I give that to you but I live in California so basically for me I can use a dewy setting spray but I do have to make sure I use a mattifying primer to hold on to that makeup you know what I mean so oh my gosh I like this more you guys more than fix plus and that's saying a lot basically I was in San Francisco where you know it gets really 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 cold in the summertime it's like winter there in the summertime it's crazy but I was using fix plus and I would literally go outside walk to my destination by the time I get to my destination my face was like dry AF and I was like what what, what's happening and then as soon as I got this Milani make it dewy and I started using it while I was in my hotel room and then I would get to my destination after maybe like you know 20 minutes of walking around in the cold and I would still be dewy and I was like oh damn so at first I was like okay it's only in cold environments that this is gonna work but even now that I'm back home and it's been like 80 degrees outside I still use this it doesn't make me super oily it just makes my makeup kind of like melt together so that as you can see like it just looks glowy my skin looks smooth I don't know what kind of magic they got in here but it is amazing the mister on here is so good I don't even want to spray it because I don't want to waste it but it's bomb and I have not been able to find this at all in my drugstore for the longest time so I'm so excited but let me know if you guys use that what do you think about it yay so that's it for my July favorites I had a lot of favorite goodies I want to know what you guys have been loving this past month or for the summer um, I know some of you guys have the naked heat palette and you love it too do you want me to do a tutorial on it let me know because I feel like most of you guys don't really watch my tutorials when I do them so which is all good but um, I kind of like scaled back on that let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial with something anything <laughs> um, but I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to check out some of the videos that I've got here for you guys if you're not subscribed girl there's a subscribe link somewhere somewhere here I'll put it there for you so there's no excuses <laughs> all right love you guys and I will see you in the next one Bye.